Hello. So with Photoshop open, hit new. And does not matter on your size. I'll just use the default one and hit OK. Now I'll just move this over to the center. And once again, go back to the file menu. And there'll be a sub menu named Automate. Go to Automate. And go down towards Web Photo Gallery. Web Photo Gallery. Now you'll see a dialog bo box pop up. The first thing that you should look at is the templates. That's basically the design of your web gallery. Uh, it's probably the most important thing. There's various colors, styles, and designs. Just choose something that looks nice. I'm just going to go with a very simple, basic one. Next, you'll ha have to enter your email. This is basically for a simple contact page if you want your visitors to be able to contact you. And next here, you'll see me selecting my method for input. Uh, by default, this is folder, and it's much easier to do when using folder. All you do is click folder. A dialog box pops up, and as you can see, I'm just going to select uh, which folder my images are stored in. I'll just go back. And I'll just use my default photo booth pictures, but you can use any folder you wish. I'll just hit choose. Yeah, I'd like to. But I also like to do BMX. Now down here you can see various parameters you can set that are specific to your website. Basically this is what identifies your website. Here I'm editing my banner component. Uh, you can enter a name, a catchphrase, your name and uh, other contact information, as you see I am here. There's also other parameters, there's perhaps a footer and various other things. You can choose the size of your thumbnails, for instance. I'm going to go with medium. And I'll just change this to HTML as opposed to HTM as it's easier to work with and it's newer. And hit OK. Now you'll see Photoshop doing a bunch of crazy things. Basically all you have to do is wait. It's not a big deal. You'll see images uh, flashing on your right. Again, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is wait. Uh, then your default web browser will open and there's your gallery. As you can see, flash has been enabled and the images pop up slightly as you roll over them. But this is dependent on the template you chose. And there you have it. So remember to visit isiaspie.com for more videos and resources. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.